and thank you for watching God Encounters Part 29. And I'm going to call this one My Help. And I'm going to use verse um, Psalms 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalms 121 and 2 says, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And this part 29 is called My Help. And God is my help. He's my everything. He's my all. God used his Holy Spirit to just um, just make my life what it is today. And I just thank God for that. God is my help. And I'm sharing on um, this because like today I was trying to get in here and record. It was just me and I had my two children and the other two that's been with me um, this entire um, summer. And so I have four little kids and I'm trying to record, you know, and just when you got children and you just, I was here in the studio by myself and. I um I was like, oh my goodness, I was about to get overwhelmed. I and mean, every time I get root start recording, I mean, you make it hear uh, my daughter Halo in the background of some of them. And here she come knocking on the door. She even came in the room with me. And I was like, okay, let me see if I can record while she's in the room. And so I started recording. And every time I would say, God, Jesus, she was like, God, Jesus. And she was just, you know, and it was kind of funny and cute. And I was like, okay, I just started recording. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm about to, you know, get overwhelmed here. Because I'm trying to record and get ahead and it's just tough, you know, with just you there. And um, the uh, bigger kids will sit down a little while, you know, uh, for uh, by themselves. But my three-year-old is like, whatever. You may hear in the background now. But so um, I'm like, okay, like this is just not going the way I want to go, Lord. So I just laid on the floor and I um, said a prayer and about, you know, God to block it in the spirits. Uh, Keep me from doing it, you know, just make this way easy. I can get some stuff recorded and it just, you know, just not going right or going well, you know, because it's just me with these um, children and I'm just trying to get something accomplished here. Well, I prayed and I got up and, of course, I started trying to record again. My phone failed and, and just just one thing after the next. And I'm like, oh. So then I try to start recording. I had my daughter being on the door. You know, I just had to keep stopping. And it's just, I was like, okay. And then all of a sudden my phone went off again and... It was Dava, and Dava was a young lady that I met when she was in middle school. Um, when I met when she was in middle school, she was pretty quiet, but um, over the time, she has um, become a blessing in my life, and I hope I've been a blessing in her life. But the uh, Lord has really used her, and tonight, when I was getting ready to, you know, get all overwhelmed and stressed and all that good stuff, uh, Dawa texted me from her sister phone telling me if I needed her to text her on her sister phone, which is odd because she's never done that before. If I, you know, could imagine, I figured her phone was torn up, or whatever. But I texted her back and I said, hey, Well, I'm in the uh, ministry house. Um, if you're not doing anything, come help me, you know. So she didn't respond back. And next thing I know, I get a, I get a, uh, a knock at the door maybe 30 minutes later, and it's Dawa. She shows up, you know, a pretty small, friendly, and come up to help me. It was like, oh, you know, thank you. And so, the um, Dava comes. She's in there with um, the children now. And then, um, um, the lady that runs the um, radio station, um, Waleen, she she shows um, shows back up. My husband showed up. So I end up with three heifers, just um, not planned. But um, everybody's here, and they're in the front room now. And but God is good. God knows even the smallest thing. And sometimes the smallest things just you know. Um, can start to overwhelm you. I'm like, how am I get this done? I want to do this. Lord, I want to. I want to. You know, stick with this and get. You know, get this done. Cause it's like I said, July 2018, and I'm like, that's what I was just commit to do. To you know, to get an episode a day out you know, of God encounters. But God is so awesome. He says in Psalms 121 to My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And I'm like, just so excited and feeling that right now because. God came in a time of need, and He sent one, two, three. I said one for the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and and just um, just He's awesome, and I appreciate God sending Dava um being a blessing, and also her um her sister Dasmond, uh, their um sister, uh, they really been um helping out with my my children, and like they're getting older now, and like no well college age, and so they got their own lives, but. It's nice to have, you know, God to put people in your life that, you know, you really didn't know, but you met them, you know, in middle school and they're still in college and they're, they, you know, keeping contact and God can drop them in your life and, you know, to help you when you least expect it. So, appreciate God using the young people 
to um, even get this, my ministry, my husband, this Keep It Moving ministry, to make things like this happen. And um, it's just a blessing. It's a blessing. So God is awesome. He'll use anybody. He'll use children. He'll use college students. He'll use high school students. He'll use whoever he wants to use. So don't be underestimated by who God uses in your life. Because God will use anybody he chooses. He can use a drunk. A, a meth head, he can use a cocaine, you know, whatever, a crackhead, whatever. He can use a billionaire, he can use a, somebody broke, he can use somebody pretty or ugly, a movie star, he can use whatever he chooses to to help you, to bless you, to get a message to you. So don't underestimate God who he uses in your life to be a help. And as always, if you don't know Christ, get to know him. If your salvation has not been sealed, just tell God that um, you repent of your sins, um, that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you believe that he rose on the third day, and that, you know, and just ask God to just take over your life, and he will do it. And if you know God, just grow closer with him, and just just, just tell God you want to be near, you're near, near. And he will just take you through a journey, and the journey won't ever stop. As long as you got breath in your air and you're breathing, it's, it's a never in a journey. He would take you and just change your life upside down for the better. So, as always, I'm Dr. Lee, and thank you for watching. This, um, this is what part uh, 29, my help. And let God be your help. And Psalms 121 and 2, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So if God made heaven and earth, why not let him help you? Because he's also powerful and also awesome. So, Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Lee. And as always, let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.